NBC News faces a potential $100 million lawsuit over its TV show to catch a predator shot in Murphy, Texas last fall. NBC News got served with a warning letter yesterday charging the network with negligence in the sex sting. The sting ended when a former Kaufman County District Attorney killed himself as police initiated a search of his house. His constitutional rights were violated, his sister says, in her legal action. The Collin County District Attorney was concerned about civil rights in that case as well. News 8 broke the story that he would not prosecute the 23 men arrested in that sting. Another of his worries was the business relationship between NBC and the group Perverted Justice. Byron Harris joins us now with a closer look at that relationship and its impact on Murphy, Texas. Byron? Law enforcement, money, and television are all part of To Catch a Predator. From the beginning, some Murphy residents didn't like stings going down in their neighborhood. Perverted Justice organized the stings to lure alleged sexual predators with internet decoys. And Perverted Justice got paid by NBC. Until now, neither the group nor the network has talked to us. Tonight, News 8 investigates. I wish the prosecutors in Cohen County would get their story straight. Their story has changed tremendously from week one to now. 27-year-old Xavier Von Erk, founder of the group Perverted Justice. Some call him a vigilante. Some call him a public servant. He sees his group as a companion to law enforcement, and he has little patience with those who question his motives. I know you're old, and you don't have much life left, and you got problems, but when you walk up to me and get in my face and tell me I'm getting in your face, then we have a problem. So I'll be right back. You hold You're touching tight. me, you know. You spit in my face. I did. Yeah, you did. Please keep your dribble to yourself. Bear right back. Von Erk represents one leg of a triangle to catch a predator that came together in the show to catch a predator. I'm Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC. We're doing the other show. legs are NBC I'm News and the Murphy me. Police. He's on the ground now. All say they're in business to help the public. Turn to your left. But each gets another reward from the TV show. Perverted Justice gets money. NBC gets ratings. And the Murphy Police Department got famous. Murphy, Texas gets, is a well-known name now. Maybe not for the reasons they would have liked, but it certainly is. Collin County District Attorney John Roach has been criticized on the Internet for asking the questions nobody else would. When Murphy Police arrested 23 men in the making of the TV show to catch a predator, Roach asked where the arrest warrants were. There were none. He questioned the financial relationship between NBC and perverted justice. He questioned why Murphy police had no arrest reports. When he got no answers, he declined to prosecute the cases. And unfortunately for them, the future uh, happenings in the future will look very bad on them. And I really wish they would stick to a story. I really wish they would stick to one solid story of why they're refusing to prosecute these cases. For a person out to serve the public, Xavier Von Erk obscures a lot about himself. He's changed his name. He can be reached only on the Internet. He failed to show up in a case against him in another sting in New Mexico. And his group failed to provide vital evidence the total chat logs of the Murphy stings, according to the Collin County DA. After Von Erk did not answer our emails, we found him at a law enforcement convention in Cleveland. So my question is, how much do you get paid by NBC per show? That really isn't relevant towards the prosecution, and not really, honestly, at the end of the day, that's an issue for an accountant and not for us. John Roach knew the issue would come up in court as part of required disclosure of benefits received by possible witnesses. What exactly is the deal between NBC and perverted justice? Uh, who's getting paid what? When the Collin County DA's office asked for the contract between the two, Perverted Justice, far from cooperating, said the DA would have to get the document from their theatrical agent. I'm there as a reporter doing the story. Perverted Chris Justice Hansen DA's represents office. the second leg of the TV triangle. You ask, can I be your boyfriend? He's the NBC host who asks the questions of alleged sexual predators when they've been caught by TV cameras. As the show's ratings improve, his fortunes rise. Good evening and welcome to Dateline. And NBC makes more money. Hansen says NBC is separate from perverted justice, despite the fact that the network pays the group. Uh, their decoys go in the chat rooms. They provide us the chat logs. 
so we can do our interviews when the people show up. Hansen says his part of the investigation is to read the chats provided by perverted justice. Yeah. Is that investigation? Reading, investigate, just reading chats? In this case, that's part of what we do to investigate, yeah. The Murphy police are supposed to be an independent law enforcement organization. But Hansen admits Murphy police officers wore TV cameras for NBC. Ten months after the sting, though, NBC has failed to voluntarily turn over the bulk of its videotape to the Collin County District Attorney. So what's the difference between this and a reality TV show? Well, I, I would say that this is, you know, a news magazine show investigating online predators. Uh, a reality show is produced by the entertainment division. Now, the Murphy police have not returned our phone calls. NBC's Chris Hansen says some of the cases may be taken up by another prosecutor. News 8 has learned the Dallas County District Attorney has been given some of them, but he hasn't decided whether to accept them. Our entire interview with Xavier Von Erk, by the way, will be on WFAA.com. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News.